All right, guys, this is Normal Central coming back at you with another YouTube video. And I am consistently putting out daily content every single day as we go through on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate all the love and support so far on my videos. Uh, be sure to comment your thoughts on the video and also be sure to like the video, share it with a friend or family. Um, and I really appreciate everything that y'all do for me. Um, but let's go ahead and get straight into the video today. Florida State has not secured a defensive end prospect in this class so far. Keyshawn Mashburn was a guy that they were actually on, committed to the program. They decided to part ways with him. So, of course, they're out on the look for another defensive end. Um, now, you do have Jamari Flagg that's also a committed prospect, but they view him more as a defensive tackle. I do like uh, Flagg for the most part. I think he's going to be a very, very good piece for Florida State to build upon on their defensive line. But you kind of have to look at some of the guys that they have in here so far. Uh, Dylan Stevenson was a four-star prospect out of Miami that committed over to Stanford. Kind of disappointing to see Florida State kind of miss on that maybe missed the importance of his recruitment, what I used him the most. And unfortunately, Stanford was his first visit, and he was able to go ahead and commit over there. And he was spe expected to visit on June 23rd, but unfortunately, he did not make it in. So, of course, that kind of means Florida State kind of needs to move on and expand their target board. Of course, uh, you know, there's a couple of guys out there. Uh, the main guy is four-star um, defensive end slash defensive tackle, LJ McCray. He's actually from Daytona Beach. Uh, that could be a guy that Florida State can kind of go over, but I do think he's more of a prototypical three technique at this point in his uh, high school career so far. We'll kind of see how that kind of transpires as we go through. He is definitely getting bigger and bigger as we go through, but he has visited Florida State quite a bit. Florida is also in the mix for him as well, but we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, a guy that's kind of interesting that actually visited this weekend, we didn't have many defensive prospects that were officially visiting this uh, past weekend, but four-star defensive end Didi Holmes, Daniel Holmes, uh, is from Gonzaga High School in Washington, D.C. Now, from the DMV area with this point, Odell and also John Papuchas is two guys that are being able to recruit in that area. He is a very, very talented prospect, top 300 player at this point. Uh, I think he's the 32nd uh, defensive end prospect in the country. So it is a very, very competitive race for him. You know, he did go on a couple of official visits during the summer. Uh, teams like Maryland, Rutgers, and also South Carolina. And that looks like South Carolina may be the biggest uh, factor in his recruitment. Maybe Maryland as well if he wants to stay a little bit closer to home. But he did mention during his exit uh, meetings with a couple of uh, media members that he had was that this was going to be his last official visit. He talked about also that Florida State was a good place that he can kind of see himself at. Proximity to home actually matters to him. And we'll kind of see how everything kind of plays out because I think Florida State did a really good job of recruiting him. Uh, of course, they did get the last visit. Um, with that before he's able to kind of make his decision in a couple of months. And we all know how Florida State needs to recruit on the defensive end side of things because you got a guy like uh, Jared Burst, who's probably going to be in his last season. What about Patrick Payton? Does he able to go as a redshirt sophomore to the NFL? We'll kind of see how that plays out. You know, Dennis Briggs, Fabian Lovett's going to be going on the defensive tackle side of things. There's a lot of guys. Braden Fisk, I mean, I can keep going on and on because I think Florida State is losing a ton of talent on the defensive line. Now, they do have to kind of get back into the swing of things because, unfortunately, they got lucky with, um, you know, Jermaine Johnson in the transfer portal. And then you turn around and have uh, Jared Burst in the transfer portal as well that's both performed really well. So it's kind of matched some of those failures that Florida State's had on the recruiting trail. You look at Nigel E. Kelly, who uh, committed to Miami. Um, and then you also got a couple other guys as well. But I just think that Ruben Bain, for example, could be a, a Miami kid that you – you know, kind of struck out on. There was a couple of kids there, but I do think that Florida State needs to land a couple of those recruits to be successful. But I want to kind of hear your thoughts on everything. Do you think Diddy Holmes can be a, a factor in Florida State? I definitely think Florida State's in the mix for him, but what do you guys think? Um, as always, I really appreciate the love and support on my videos so far. I'm going to do these daily content as we go, but I really appreciate it as always, and go Knowles.